Hi, it's Kim, and today we're going to look at my star magnolia tree. This is a tree I found at my new house we moved into last August, and I was anxious to see how well it would bloom this year, and it's been really pretty. There were lots of the little cat skins, like a pussy willow, that comes onto the trees. I saw those all winter long and even last fall, but as of late March, it started to pop out and bloom. I have hundreds of the white blooms that are coming out right now. Now this, I think this is a Royal Star Magnolia, but I'm not sure. But I, I do know it's a Star Magnolia just based on the shape of the flowers. It kind of has fluttery little um, petals that kind of dangle and hang. They're not really stiff and it's a small flower, not like the big cup or saucer magnolias. But this has been a really pretty tree. It's white, so it shows up really well against the uh, red brick house. I like that. And of course, it's gorgeous against the blue skies. Now you can see I have had a few cold spells and freezes. And the freeze will destroy your blooms. Maybe not all of them, but a whole lot of them can be damaged by a frost or a freeze once it blooms. But it blooms so early, and if you have a lot of buds and everything, it doesn't hurt too much for you to lose a few of them. Now mine has little delicate pink stripes around the bud shape. I did write a post back on the blog and have some more close-up pictures of the blossoms. But I really think it was a pretty tree. It just seemed to light up that corner. I really like it. Now, I am going to have to prune a lot after the blooming's over because since it blooms on old wood, it sets blooms all through the year um, and summer and fall. So you cannot um, trim it late in the fall or early in the spring or you're gonna cut off all your blooms. So I will be pruning it and trying to, I don't know, kind of narrow out that um, trunk and give it a little prettier shape and get rid of some of the thin, more weak stems. But I've been well pleased with it. Glad to have this. I've not had a star magnolia before, but it looks really good. It's hardy in zones four to nine in the U.S. And the blooms, of course, occur before the leaves at all. And it just blooms for a few weeks, like such as like a redbud tree. It's really nice. Now, I've heard some people describe that. The blooms, once they start to fade, look like used toilet paper. Now I can't get that image out of my mind. But I really like the tree. I think it's really nice. And I'm well pleased to have this and discovering all the plants that I have in my new quote-unquote garden. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you on next video.